What's up everyone, it's Trey Thousand GT. Today uh, we're gonna go back to 1992. Um, this is a shoe that a lot of people probably don't even know about, never heard about. This is the Xavier McDaniel signature shoe. Um, came out, this one's from 1992. Some of them, I, I believe it started in 1991. I uh, could be wrong, but uh, this follows like the whole um, Malcolm X thing where everybody's wearing X hats and his name is Xavier. He was a good basketball player. 91-92 season he was playing for the Knicks. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, this is his signature shoe. Let's take a look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. Xavier McDaniel. And this was made by a company called Xanthus. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but <clears throat> it says the impact rebound system is a spring action pressure absorbing and stabilizing mechanism that makes playing ball on the hard court less hard. So the technology in the system in the shoe was the uh, impact round, uh, rebound system. When I take the shoe out, you're gonna see that there, uh, the inside of the shoe actually exploded. Um, I guess because it had polyurethane sprayed inside the shoe instead of the the midsole itself being uh, polyurethane, uh, which you know that happens with a lot of uh, Nike shoes, Reebok shoes. <clears throat> this one you could probably still wear, but uh, you'd have to clean the inside out. I'm gonna handle these with a little bit of care today. Um, so this is, I'll take this one out. Let's give you a good look. This is it. You'll notice that the fit on these, uh, the, the toe area was very narrow, but they fit so good. They, they're really comfortable. And I have a wide foot. I wish uh, it had a very sleek toe box area, and I think that looks really good on the shoe. I wish Nike would, uh, would do that and Fila, because Fila had a shoe, the FX, I think it's the FX High, similar to this one. That's a big plastic X. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be a little careful with this shoe. This one's uh, kind of exploded all over the place on the inside of the shoe, but see it came with this. Xanthus, copyright 1992. Shows the technology impact rebound system. And it came with this keychain. So it's a nice looking shoe. Um, I think, you know, I remember these growing up. Uh, you know, a few people in my school had them. Uh, I didn't have them personally, but uh, they should, uh, somebody should retro them or somebody should buy the rights to this design. <clears throat> Bring back a lot of memories. So anyway, that's the video. Um, like I said, this is a shoe 
that a lot of you probably never seen before and um, I'm happy to introduce it to you. If you do remember it, then you know I'm sure this will bring back bring back some good memories. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's a little bit different than an Air Force One. It's missing the Nike check. It's got that little X there. And to some people, maybe it looks generic, but you know what? It, it had a story behind it. I mean, Xavier McDaniel, he was a, a rough player. It was during the whole era when the uh, the Malcolm X movie came out and um, everybody was rocking X on their hats and their clothes and all that. So to have this on a shoe, it was, it was different and it was done well. You know, the quality, uh, I'd say the quality was good on them. The, the fit, the, uh, the leather, the, the, the uppers are genuine leather. And, um, I mean, it, it just looks so sleek. It was done right. The stitching, this, let me see if we can get a good look. How good this stitching is. How well it was put together. I mean, you'd probably have to pay, uh, $250 for Nike to make some gimmicky shoe. Like a, uh, a Supreme extra high quality dunk to get this kind of uh, craftsmanship but they did a good job anyway stay tuned there's going to be more videos um like i said i've been collecting for many many years and i don't just collect nikes dunks and all that stuff i collect everything i collect everything that was hot at least to me or that was a cultural cultural staple at the time when it came out and like Ewings and um, things like that. But anyway, thanks for checking out the video and uh, till next time.